hello what's up in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can easily create your own retouching actions in photoshop so for those that don't know actions actions are more of shortcuts that you simply click on and they help to fasten or quicken your retouching process within photoshop so i'm just going to be showing how you can easily create your frequency passion action within photoshop but it is the same technique that you can use to create an action within photoshop to help you fasten or quicken your retouching process so this is the image that we have so in order to create an action always make sure that you are in photoshop and you have an image and as you have your image make sure that the background layer is also locked so with this every single image that you import within photoshop is always going to be having a locked layer so in order to create action simply come to window and you make sure that actions or the action window is open so as soon as you click on that you see that the action window open is going to be open within photoshop and in order to create the action, simply come to the folder icon and simply left click on it and you can create your retouching action. So I'm just going to name this to skin retouching and simply click OK. So before you create the action, always create a folder in which the action is going to be belonging because sometimes you want the actions to belong in a specific folder or set. So this is going to be like a set for the action. So in order to create the action, simply come and press on the plus icon. So you left click on the create icon or create new action icon. And as soon as you left click, it's going to open up the new action dialog box. And with this, you can name this to frequency separation. So I'm just going to be showing how you can create an action for both 8-bit or 16-bit images. So after naming the action, you can set is included in our set or the folder that we created initially before so you can as well assign a function key for the action if at all you want or it can be more of a shortcut for the action or you can as well assign a color for your action so i'm just going to choose red and simply come and click on record so the action is going to be recorded so right now we just want to come and create the action so in order to create the action simply come to the background layer and simply create two copies from the background layer by pressing ctrl or command j twice so if at all you have the uh, the layers created simply come and hide the high frequency layer so we're going to name this to high we're just going to name this to low rather and we're going to name this to high so the low frequency layer contains the colors and the high frequency layer contains the texture so you come to the low frequency layer and after selecting it remember the action is always going to stop playing at the point when you have to determine the amount of gush and blur you want to apply to your image so you can come to filter and come to blur and come to gush and blur so you have to apply a given radius so this doesn't matter when you're creating the action because the action is always going to stop at this point where you have to determine the amount of gush and blur you want to apply to your image so you don't have to add a specific radius for this case so i'm just going to click on ok so like for those that don't understand frequency separation it is at this point when we determine the amount of skin texture that we want to remain with in our final or retouched image so when you reach at this point when the action is playing you move the radius up to a point when you just start to lose out on the skin textures and simply click ok so i'm just going to click ok so remember when, when you are retouching you want to retouch a number of photos or portraits but that may be requiring a different amount of gush and blur so we don't want this action to be really specific we want it to be dynamic and we won't be able to change the values later on so after creating your gush and blur radius simply come and activate or click on this stop icon and for this case the action is going to be stopping at the point and you have to put in the gush and blur radius so after doing that, we're just going to come to the high frequency layer and now activate it. Then you come to image and you come to apply image. So if I told you are creating an 8-bit action, you're just going to be selecting the low frequency layer. And now the channel has to be RGB right here. And make sure the blend mode is subtract for an 8-bit image. Or pass at 100%. The scale is to and offset 128. Make sure preserve transparency and mask cannot check. The invert option is not turned on so this is for an 8-bit image so you have to repeat the same process for a 16-bit image so if i told you are working or creating a 16-bit action 
the settings or the values are going to be changing in this case for a 16-bit image so if i told you i have a 16-bit image the blend mode you're going to be using for your action is going to be add opacity 100 percent the scale is to offset zero and make sure you turn on the invert option so the layer is going to be the low frequency layer and you can proceed with the action so for my case this image is an 8-bit image so meaning rgb low frequency layer selected and the blend mode has to be subtract the scale is to offset 128 opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check and the invert option is not turned on and simply click ok so i'm just going to come the blend mode and change it from normal and i'm going to change it to linear light and you can see that it brings back the image that it was meant to be so i'm just going to select both layers and press ctrl or command g on the keyboard to group this and i can rename that to frequency separation 8 bit just like this so after doing that i'm just going to click enter and i'm just going to open up the group and simply select the low frequency layer and when you're done doing that you can just come and select the mr brush tool and you make sure that you put in the right settings for so for my case i prefer the hardness at zero after selecting the mr brush tool i prefer clean brush and i also prefer clean brush after each and stroke selected the weight is 9 load 75 mix at 90 and four one four of 100 percent so make sure a sample always is not checked and with the low frequency layer selected right now you can come and simply stop playing the action or stop recording the action and you can set here as recorded every single thing that we have been saving so we want to see if at all the action is working quite well or going to be effective so i'm just going to come and delete the processes and i'm just going to come to the frequency separation action and simply play it and you can see it stops at the point when you're just going to put in the amount of gush and blur and i'm just going to proceed and simply click ok and you can see that is going to create all these folders and select the low frequency layer and that mr brush tool is also selected and you can just come straight and retouch your image so this is how you can create your frequency separation action within photoshop and if i told you you have loved this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.